Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to an update video for my Aravaki campaign. Now, unfortunately I'm going to have to finish this campaign prematurely. The reason for this is because about a week or so ago we had patch 12 and unfortunately patch 12 doesn't quite agree with previous save files. Now this save file for this campaign was made during the previous patch, patch 11. And to be fair that patch was pretty good and it worked quite well. But patch 12 makes the campaign map really laggy, it makes the battles really laggy. And I've tried different things, I've tried lowering the game settings, I've used Fraps, I've used Dextery, which are the two main recording softwares that I use. And unfortunately the same keeps happening all the time. And the last, I think it's the last two or three episodes, it's had quite a lot of lagginess. They haven't been the best of quality and you know, as a YouTuber I want to present as best quality videos that I possibly can as far as gameplay goes and as far as commentary goes as well so unfortunately you know this campaign will have to end but I do feel like I've achieved quite a lot with this campaign as you can see on the map here on my save file I have some of Africa I have most of Iberia we are actually the sole surviving Iberian tribe we've also taken some of Gaul as well we're much bigger than Carthage and we're much bigger than Rome so I do think we can look back at this campaign as a success and you know take some good memories and also you know I have great memories from you guys as well especially earlier on when I had loads of people watching and loads of new subscribers that, that found this channel because of this this DLC and because not many people were doing the Aravaki campaign when Halbert the Gates was first announced so thank you so much for your support for this campaign and for jumping on board and giving my channel a chance now there are a few other things I want to mention in this in this uh, video Rome 2 isn't going to be finished on my channel though I have heard that if you start a brand new campaign after patch, uh, patch 12, it doesn't suffer from the same effects that you, this save file did. So I might try a campaign in my own time to see if it works or not and bring you a legendary campaign. Now I was thinking of one of the uh, Eastern tribes, uh, faction sorry, so Parthia, Bactria or Pontus, they're the three which I was thinking of, maybe one of the nomadic tribes I could try as well but that's just something which I'm I'm kind of just testing out at the moment just to see if if it will work and I'll probably use the radius mod if I decide to do that and also you know I may decide to do another DLC faction once we see what ever Rome 2 is having as a next DLC but that's you know that's in the future and this will probably be in the next month or so but in the meantime I do have two campaigns which for other games which I am planning on doing. The first will be returning to my Skyrim campaign. Now I have 12 episodes in my playlist for Skyrim so I am hoping to bring some more to you because I really enjoyed that and I basically lost track of time. Uh, I was playing a lot of other stuff at the time and I just didn't feel like recording it but now I feel like I want to record Skyrim again so I will go back to that. And the second thing I'm going to be recording is a brand new game on my channel. It is Crusader Kings 2 and I'll be playing with the Game of Thrones mod. Now the faction I'm going to play as, or the character I'm going to play as, is Peter Baelish and House Baelish. And hopefully it'll be a great campaign. And Crusader Kings 2 is a, is a game which I'm still getting used to, so I'll probably make lots of mistakes. <laughs> but hopefully they'll be, they'll be quite funny to view. But anyway, I'm rambling on too long now. Hope you have a great day, guys. I'm Dragonheart. Until next time, peace out. Goodbye.